Right, Governor Polis, in 2019, you called for support of Prop CC, which would have eliminated Tabor refunds. This year, you approved moving up when Coloradans received Tabor refund checks. Do you believe Tabor should still be in place? Why or why not? I've always been in the mend it, don't end it camp for Tabor. What does that mean? First of all, I think it's great that voters are the only folks who can approve any increase in the tax. Uh, I also think it's great that we have a citizen's initiative process that can propose tax cuts, uh, and I've supported them in the past as well. Uh, we were able to deliver, to deliver on the largest uh, property tax cut in the history of Colorado, $700 million, thanks to the work of Representative Snyder, Representative Exum, other members of the legislature, and yes, move up uh, the Tabor refund uh, about nine, ten months earlier than it would have been so people got it in their pockets when they needed it. So what we need is a comprehensive approach that puts the people of Colorado first saying what do you cost and how do we save you money and reduce costs in every single way that we can as a state. 30 seconds, uh, Ms. Ganahl, if you'd like to respond to anything you just said in regard to that question. Yeah, so I led an initiative to protect Tabor when Jared Polis was against Tabor a few years ago, and I strongly believe it's in the best interest of the voters of Colorado to approve new taxes. They've put all kinds of fees in place. In fact, Jared has applied, or approved 85 new taxes and fees through various legislation that's been passed. But the most onerous thing he's done is call Tabor refunds the Colorado cash back and lie to the Colorado voters about what it is. It's their money. It's their dollars. He gave it back as an election stunt.